considering breast reconstruction after mastectomy. Here at MD Anderson, our hope is that women take the opportunity to consider breast reconstruction and make well-informed decisions with their surgeon about what is best for their health, appearance, and personal goals. Breast reconstruction is the process of rebuilding the shape of your breast. While it may seem overwhelming to think about it right now, breast reconstruction may become an important and valuable part of your overall health care. Talking about your options now can help you be prepared for the future. This video focuses on breast reconstruction after mastectomy, surgery to remove a breast. It describes the process for surgery and reconstruction on one breast. However, the information is applicable for women considering reconstruction on both breasts, called bilateral reconstruction. It may also provide good basic information if you are having a lumpectomy, which may be called a partial or segmental mastectomy. The purpose of this video is to help you become well-informed about the options that may be available to you. It will introduce several potential options, and your surgeon will confirm which options may be appropriate for you, depending on your breast shape, cancer treatment plan, and overall health. This video will give a brief overview of breast reconstruction, introduce some of the medical terms, and discuss how you can prepare for your appointment with the reconstructive surgery team. Your My Breast Reconstruction Workbook provides a summary of this video, as well as some additional information, such as side-by-side -side comparison charts, a glossary, and tips and advice. After viewing this video, please complete the worksheet at the end of the workbook to discuss with your reconstructive surgeon. You have options. Decisions about breast reconstruction are as unique as the women who make them. For some women, rebuilding the look and appearance of their breast is very important for their sense of a healthy body image and a key part of their cancer treatment. Others may not want reconstruction at all. Some would like to start their reconstruction at the same time as their mastectomy if possible. Others may want to delay reconstruction until they finish other treatments or take care of other health concerns. Some women want to use their own tissue for their breast reconstruction and others prefer implants. These decisions about breast reconstruction are called shared medical decisions because the best decision depends upon sharing both the surgeon's medical expertise and your personal preferences. Your surgeon will provide the medical expertise about what options may be possible with your cancer treatment plan, breast shape, and overall health. You can share what is important to you and your goals for your health, activity, and appearance. Together, you and your surgeon can discuss which option is most likely to give you the best possible outcome for your goals. What to expect at your first meeting with the reconstructive surgeon. On your first visit, you will meet your reconstructive surgery team, which usually includes a plastic surgeon, a surgery fellow or resident, a physician assistant, and a clinical nurse. They will review your health history and cancer treatment plan and ask you questions to find out what is most important to you, such as what you currently like and dislike about the shape and size of your breasts. They will explain which reconstruction options might be best for you and answer any questions you have. Together, you will discuss three key decisions. One, is reconstruction right for you? Two, should you start at the same time as your mastectomy or delay until later? Three, do you want to use your own tissue or an implant? There is no right or wrong decision. The best decision is one that is well-informed and gives you the best match between your breast shape and cancer treatment plan and your health and appearance goals. What is the goal of breast reconstruction? The goal of breast reconstruction is to recreate the appearance or look of a breast so you can look normal when wearing clothes. When naked, you will still see a scar and your breast skin may be tighter or darker if you have radiation. Without reconstruction, your chest may be flat or may dip in towards the rib cage after your mastectomy. With breast reconstruction, you can rebuild the size and shape so that it appears normal in clothes. Who will do your breast reconstruction surgery? 
Your cancer care team may include a breast surgery team who performs the mastectomy, a medical oncologist who provides chemotherapy, a radiation oncologist who provides radiation therapy, and your plastic surgery team who will do your breast reconstruction. Your reconstructive surgeon is a plastic surgeon who has specialized training in reconstructing breasts. Although many people think of plastic surgeons as cosmetic surgeons, they can do both cosmetic and reconstructive surgery. At MD Anderson, many reconstructive surgeons go through the rigorous process to become board certified, which means they complete additional training and pass written and oral examinations to verify their knowledge and skill. Training, experience, and board certification are important things to look for when choosing your reconstructive team. Who pays for breast reconstruction? The 1998 Women's Health and Cancer Rights Act states that after mastectomy, health insurance plans should cover external breast prosthesis, inserts you can wear in your bra that give the look of a breast when clothed, reconstruction surgery on the breast with cancer, and surgery on the other breast if needed to make both breasts look similar. Please call your insurance company to request an estimate of what, if anything, you would pay as your out-of-pocket costs. Our MD Anderson Financial Associates can also help you find this information. Their phone number is provided in the workbook and on our website. How is breast reconstruction done? There are many ways to perform breast reconstruction. The process generally involves two or three surgeries over several months. Even though you might wish it could happen all at once, it is important to give your tissue time to settle and heal between procedures for the best long-term results. First, the reconstructive surgeon does an initial surgery to rebuild the overall size of the breast, called the breast mound. This may be done at the same time as your mastectomy or later. Some women are able to use a small piece of their own tissue from the belly, thighs, or back. This is called a tissue flap. Others use a breast implant. Most women will also have a revision surgery a few months later to reshape or touch up any tissue that settled during cancer treatments. Some women also have surgery on the other breast. This is often called contralateral surgery or balancing or symmetry surgery since it is done to balance the shape and size of both breasts. Some women also get nipple reconstruction to recreate the shape of a nipple, or a 3D tattoo to recreate the slightly darker area of skin around the nipple. You and your surgeon will discuss which options might be best for you, based upon the plans for your mastectomy and any follow-up treatments like radiation, your breast shape, stretchiness of your skin, and overall health, and your personal preferences and goals for your health, activity, and appearance. What are my options? At the first visit with your reconstruction team, you will discuss the three key decisions. One, is breast reconstruction right for you? Two, should you start reconstruction at the same time as your mastectomy or delay until later? Three, should you use your own tissue or an implant? Again, the best decisions are ones that are well-informed and work for you. Let's walk through each decision and compare the pros and cons. This information is summarized for you in your workbook, which also provides side-by-side -side comparison tables and a glossary of the medical terms. Decision number one. Is breast reconstruction right for you? Some women prefer not to have reconstruction. They do not want additional surgeries, or they may be satisfied without the breast, or they may choose to wear an external breast prosthesis, a plastic insert shaped like a breast that can be put into special bras and swimsuits. Other women prefer to have breast reconstruction. They may want the appearance of breasts without having to wear an external prosthesis, or they may want to rebuild the shape of their breast and to reshape or resize the other breast. What are the pros and cons of having or not having reconstruction? 
it is important to know that there are no differences in rates of breast cancer coming back, called recurrence, whether you have breast reconstruction or not. Also, whether or not you have reconstruction, you will have a scar, some pain, and a few months of recovery time after your mastectomy. No breast reconstruction. Pros. If you choose not to have reconstruction, the surgery and recovery time may be shorter. You may get back to life and work sooner and may have fewer out-of-pocket costs. You may be able to wear an external breast prosthesis. Cons. However, some women find the external prosthesis difficult to keep in place while exercising or swimming, and it may cause rashes or chafing in warm weather. Others find that clothing, swimsuits, jewelry, and shoulder straps on bags, purses, and seat belts do not fit the same. Without the prosthesis, you may have a flat chest. Women who are overweight may have an indented chest that curves inward towards the ribs where the breast was removed. Breast Reconstruction Pros If you choose to have reconstruction, you can have the appearance of a breast without having to worry about an external prosthesis. Many women also choose reconstruction because insurance covers reshaping or resizing the other breast as well. Cons. However, additional surgeries may mean additional risks, scars, recovery time, and out-of-pocket costs, depending on what type of reconstruction you choose to do. Decision two, should you start reconstruction at the same time as your mastectomy or delay until later? If you decide to have breast reconstruction, the second decision you will discuss with your reconstructive team is whether to start at the end of your mastectomy surgery, called immediate reconstruction, or wait until later, called delayed reconstruction. With immediate reconstruction, the breast surgeon will remove the breast that has cancer during the mastectomy. The reconstructive surgeon will immediately begin rebuilding the overall shape of the breast mound. A few months later, you may have additional surgeries, such as revisions, to touch up any tissue that settled, contralateral surgery on the other breast, or nipple reconstruction. Delayed reconstruction means waiting to start the reconstruction process later and may be recommended if there is a possibility that you will need radiation, which damages some types of reconstruction, or if you want to take time to address specific health concerns such as quitting smoking, losing weight, or rebalancing diabetes after cancer treatments, or if you are not ready to think about reconstruction right after your mastectomy. Keep in mind, however, that some reconstruction options may not be as easy to do later. Whether you start immediately or delay, your reconstructive process ends when you and your reconstructive team agree that you have reached the best outcome for you. Usually, you will do a checkup about one year later. What are the pros and cons of starting reconstruction now or later? Immediate reconstruction, pros. Starting reconstruction immediately means you are never without a breast mound and it often produces a better long-term appearance. Combining the mastectomy and breast mound surgery means fewer surgeries, which may mean shorter recovery time and less out-of-pocket costs. Cons. Starting immediately does make the initial surgery longer, and you may still need revision surgeries later on. Immediate reconstruction may not be best if you have other health concerns such as quitting smoking or losing weight that should be addressed first. Delayed reconstruction, pros. Delayed reconstruction may be recommended if you are likely to have additional procedures that might damage the new breast or to allow you to address other health concerns first. It can also allow you to focus entirely on your cancer treatment. Cons. However, 
Delaying reconstruction may mean having a flat or indented chest for three to nine months. It may also mean more surgeries, more cost, and an overall longer process. You may have fewer reconstruction options if you delay, and it may make it harder to achieve a natural look. It is important to remember that there are no differences in the rates of breast cancer recurrence or the ability to detect a recurrence whether you have immediate or delayed reconstruction. Decision number three, should you use your own tissue or breast implant? To rebuild the shape of the breast, you can use your own tissue or breast implant. This decision depends on several health factors and your personal preferences. In some circumstances, the surgery team may recommend using both your tissue and an implant, for example, when reconstructing both breasts using your own tissue. Using a piece of your own tissue is called a tissue flap or autologous reconstruction, which means from the same person. At the end of your mastectomy surgery, the reconstructive surgeon takes a small flap of tissue from your belly, thigh, or back, moves it to your breast, and reshapes it to make the breast mound. This piece of tissue usually includes some skin and fat and sometimes includes a piece of muscle. The spot the tissue is taken from is called the donor site because it donates the tissue to your breast. Your surgeon will discuss with you whether you have enough healthy tissue to create the breast size you want and whether tissue from your belly, thigh, or back may work best for maintaining long-term shape. If you have other health concerns like smoking, obesity, or diabetes, you may need to treat those concerns before you can use a tissue flap. The most common kind of flaps are belly flaps, which are also called tram flaps or DIEP flaps. Your surgeon will explain these terms and describe any other flaps that might work for you. Using a breast implant. A breast implant is a small round or breast shaped sac filled with silicone gel or sterile salt water called saline. The implants are placed under or on top of your chest muscle, called pectoralis major, and need healthy skin and the right space to fit well. After mastectomy, some women may have enough skin and space to have the implant put in right away, called direct-to-implant reconstruction. Some women may need their skin and muscles to stretch to create enough space. If so, the surgeon may put in a temporary saline sac called a tissue expander. They may also use a special type of netting called acellular dermal matrix, or ADM, to keep it in place. Over the next one to three months, you would come into the clinic and the surgeon or physician assistant will add a little more saline to the expander to help slowly stretch the muscles and skin. Once the expander has reached the right size, the reconstruction team will do a short follow-up surgery to take it out and put in the breast implant. What are the pros and cons of tissue flaps and breast implants? Using a tissue flap. Pros. Tissue flaps can feel more like the original breast and some women prefer knowing they have used only their own tissue. They can also make nipple reconstruction easier. Cons. However, tissue flaps involve two surgical sites, the breast and the donor site where the tissue was taken from. This means longer hospital stays and recovery times and two scars. The size of the breast may be limited by the amount of healthy tissue you have available, and tissue flaps may need revision if you have radiation or gain or lose a lot of weight. Using a breast implant. Pros. Breast implants also have a good feel, and some women say they appear more perky. Implants may also offer more freedom to choose what size you want for one or both breasts. With implants, the surgery is only on the mastectomy site, 
so there is one scar and a shorter hospital stay and recovery times. Cons. However, the implant process may include two surgeries and one to three months of weekly clinic visits to add saline to a tissue expander. Revision surgery may be needed if the implant moves out of place or needs to be replaced in the future. An implant may be placed in the other breast to match if needed. How does the surgeon rebuild the nipple? Occasionally, the mastectomy can be done without removing the nipple. This is called nipple sparing surgery. If your nipple needs to be removed during the mastectomy, the shape of a nipple can be rebuilt using a small flap of skin. This can be done during a revision surgery or as a procedure in the clinic without having to go to the operating room. Additionally, Many tattoo artists can tattoo the skin to create the appearance of the darker circle around the nipple called the areola. Alternatively, some women choose not to rebuild the shape of the nipple and instead have a 3D tattoo, which gives an illusion of a nipple without having surgery. What will the new breast look and feel like? Most women want to know what the reconstructed breast will look like and feel like. This is different for each woman, depending on your overall health, your breast shape, the stretchiness of your skin, and what types of cancer treatments and reconstruction you do. There are a lot of examples on the internet, and it is hard to know what to trust. Some websites offer idealized photos and quick reconstructions, but may not be realistic about average results or long-term quality. Hours of searching can take valuable time and energy during your cancer treatment and recovery. And remember, your My Breast Reconstruction Workbook provides a summary of the information from this video, side-by-side -side comparison charts, a glossary, and some helpful tips and advice from nurses and breast cancer survivors. To prepare for your first meeting with your reconstructive surgery team, please complete the worksheet in your workbook. It will help you confirm that you are well informed and make a note of any remaining questions, clarify what's most important to you, and prepare to discuss how you feel about the three key decisions. This worksheet is very important for helping the surgeon understand what is most important to you, so please bring it with you to your appointment. If you lose your copy, you can find it on the Breast Reconstruction website or call us at 713-563-8500 and we will email one to you. Remember, breast reconstruction is a journey. Here at MD Anderson, we look forward to meeting with you. Our hope is that you take the opportunity to consider breast reconstruction and make well-informed decisions with your surgeon about what is best for your health, appearance, and personal goals.